everybody. It's Leslie with the conclusion of This Is Your Life, a little workshop. And remember, we started this with the magic ingredients of This Is Your Life, where being definite, listing what you want to eliminate from your life, listing what you want to bring into your life, and list what you're thankful for. And uh, we took a picture of all that for you. We can do it again when we um, get through here. Things to think of of our, this is a journey to discover yourself rather than escape from yourself. To reach your full potential in life, achieve our dreams and goals and desires, it is a must to write down our dreams and goals and desires. And here's some of the questions to write down. What you want to eliminate from your life and you have to eliminate from the past. What you want to bring into your life, what you're thankful for, and you're always on your way. Remember, you're always on your way to a miracle. Always. Uh, trust God in all. Pray. Pray every day. Thank God for everything you have. The, the first best kept secret of total success is that we must feel love inside ourselves before we can give it to others. We must love ourselves. Uh, esteem is, is self-acceptance. As, as, as you are right now. Not that you have to lose weight, not that you have to do this, that, or the other, go to school. Um, Self-acceptance is the key to, key to healthy self-esteem. Seeing yourselves as worthwhile, changing, imperfect growing individuals, and knowing although we are not born with equal mental and physical uniforms, we are born with equal right to feel deserving <laughs> of excellence according to our own spiritual standards. And again, remember, a masterpiece of creation, you are. You are the masterpiece of creation of God. Always carry with you the secret. Love must be within us before we can be given, be given to others. Simple, isn't it? If there's no depth in internalizing feelings of value inside us, then we have nothing in, to give or share with others. Do please remember that. We can need them. We can be dependent upon them. We can look for security in them. We can indulge them, flatter them, and attempt to purchase them. But we cannot share or give an emotion to anyone else unless we first possess that emotion ourselves. And, and I've done this before in our letters. And if you'd like the letters, there's always something like this every month in the letter and some interesting, very interesting um articles and uh, our, our special and everything what we're doing but here's questions to ask yourself do you accept yourself as you are would you say that you love yourself think about that one it's very important would you rather be somebody else if so why would you rather be someone else outside of yourself how do you handle criticism do you take it personally or do you seek to learn from the criticism do you feel guilty when you indulge in some selfish activity Think of some recent examples. How comfortable are you when others praise you or compliment you? You know, the only answer to that is thank you. Not no, I didn't, oh, I shouldn't, you shouldn't. It's thank you very much. Do you talk to yourself with all due respect, respect or with ridicule? Um, and that's, that's six questions and Sue is gonna take a picture of that for you and shortly, shortly after I get down here, so you have them all um, for you. And your image, I also have a, a, a chart here for your image. Um, some good questions to ask yourself. How old would you be if you didn't know how old you were? <laughs> because sometimes asking the right questions is the answer. Which is worse, failing or never trying? Are you more worried about doing things right or doing, the, doing right things or doing things right? Are you holding on to something you need to let go of? That's a very important one. So important because sometimes we live our life holding on to something from the past. You just not even exist anymore. And you just bring yourself down with it. If you just won a million dollars, would you quit your job? <laughs> what is the difference being what is the difference between being alive and truly living? What would you do differently if you knew nobody would judge you? And that's another thing. As, as you grow older, you realize it's not anybody to judge us or to, um, to 
anything about us because it's only up to God to do that, you know? And when was the last time you noticed the sound of your own breathing? Your image, um, I'll put that in the letter. And if, if you'd like to get the letter, it just comes to email. Um, write and send us, uh, send us your address or your email address where you would like it to go. That would be very good. And, and by the way, if you're having trouble listen, hearing me, please let me know. I am going to get a new phone next week, but uh, I've had a lot of complaints about your hearing. Okay, and here's another one you could do for yourself, and that's write yourself an emotional, emotional want ad of what you want, what you feel. And write your past experiences. Write another one like an emotional want ad for your past experiences. And, and one for describing yourself. And, and Sue is going to take the pictures of these so you have them. And I hope that I hope you'll like this. We're going to start with each one. Here's the first one, which you got last week, but here it is. Another one for you to look at. Your choice if you want to do them or not, it's up to you. Well, this has got, got a lot of writing on it. I hope you will get this for yourself. Hmm? Here's a good one. This is a wonderful page right here. Just a second, I'm having trouble getting the pages moved here. This one, I don't know, it's probably be hard to see a little image of yourself chart. Here's the emotional one, Ants. I hope this, you'll enjoy this very much. I really do. Um, I hope it will, for someone for a few people, anyway, it will give you some thoughts of maybe making things better for you inside yourself. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye.